Hey everybody, we've got a 650 square foot patio we're doing. Those kind of wraps around the front of the house. See over there, different widths. We're using uh, black in the concrete, as it's called charcoal right there, U28 charcoal. It's gonna keep the concrete looking kind of dark gray. It doesn't really make it black, but it's pretty dark gray. Oh, we got nine yards here, put in nine bags. Truck just showed up, he's mixing it in right now. Gonna get going. A lot of times, you know, you can throw that bags, the bag and all right in the truck, but when we get on the job site, sometimes the bag doesn't disintegrate, so we like to just dump it out of the bag, get it in the truck that way.
All right, that's feeling pretty good. I mean, sometimes, sometimes these high PSI mixes, when you put color in them, they'll feel really sticky and just won't want to close up tight on the surface, whether you're bull floating or you're magging, but this one's feeling okay so far. I don't know if you can tell or not, it's kind of windy up here. That wind is drying out the surface quite a bit. I'm trying to get it to get it closed up using a little bit of day one finishing aid to help close it up, but it's always a struggle in the wind.
Whew. All right, moving right along. Let's try that. Some, deep, some day one, get it boat floated, then I'm gonna go right back and check where we started. Probably 10, 15 mile an hour wind. Alright, so now I'm just gonna go mag up my edges, probably hit them with a little day one. That day one finishing aid is designed to make, you know, finishing a little easier, help hold some of the moisture into the concrete, give you a little bit more working time. So that's it's made just for that. That's why you can spray that stuff on there and work it in. It's to help slow the set a little bit. about ready back up there get right back on the new boards. I'm gonna go back and check that first part. That first part it was really warm, the sun was beating right in there. Get up there a little quick, Mike. I don't know, it's easy. It's just reaching out. Or I can't, yep. Yeah. You know, I can go about here for you. Yeah. I've got the dog in here.
All right, we're gonna give that a few minutes. Probably get it one more hit on all this stuff that's in the sun, be done. Next hit, we'll give it 15 minutes. That little piece way up there in the shade we may have to hang out for a few minutes for, but going pretty good. Ooh, that's going pretty good. It's pretty dry on top, but it's coming out nice and smooth, which is what they want. Typically, we don't finish exterior patios with a steel trowel here in Maine. So this is what they wanted. So we're giving them what they want. Did you want to shoot great in here, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, all done there. So we'll come back tomorrow. I'll put my saw cuts in it. You know, we're going to be sawing off a lot of these corners. I'll just saw cut it, give it a place to crack. Then, you know, he'll strip it. Got to build the roof over it and they'll seal it. They're going to put a sealer on this thing later on down the road to help make that color pop. Without the sealer, the color really is almost useless. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.